Discouragement, fear, failure. Only a few years ago, these stalked the nation. Depression haunted America. We groped, we struggled, we found the way to better times. Today, depression is a fading memory. Millions of men and women have found employment and with it confidence and hope. The Great Works program has removed a vast army from relief roles. It revived lagging industry, restored morale, and renewed courage. In a program which covers the entire nation, West Virginia takes an important place. The construction of the Tri-County Airport at Clarksburg is an excellent example of a project which serves the community in three ways. By improving transportation facilities, by relieving local unemployment, and by increasing property values. This is one of six airports included in the West Virginia program. Abandoned mines are being sealed to prevent pollution of water supplies. Another important construction project is underway in Morgantown, where a retaining wall is being built to prevent an important traffic thoroughfare and its bordering homes from sliding down a mountainside. In constructing this retaining wall, it was necessary to dig through more than 50 feet of soil to reach bedrock. Richwood Avenue, the street which is endangered by earth slides, is itself being reconstructed for a distance of about one mile. At the Morris Memorial Hospital for crippled children, a hydrotherapeutic unit is under construction to provide treatment for such diseases as infantile paralysis. And at Marshall College in Huntington, a new building for the elementary training school nears completion. Also completed are a gymnasium at Fairview High School and an assembly hall for the 4-H camp at Jackson's Mills. One of 818 schools constructed or improved by WPA is the Negro High School at Morgantown. Thirteen swimming pools are being built or repaired in various parts of the state. In more than 150 sewing rooms, 4,000 women are employed making garments for distribution to needy families. And in 65 nursery schools, 2,000 children of working mothers are cared for and instructed. A project employing thousands of workers is the improvement of almost 3,500 miles of secondary and of so-called creek and hollow roads, which follow the natural contours of the land. Roads once impassable in bad weather are now good the year round, allowing the people of formerly inaccessible mountain communities to get to market centers and giving tourists, hunters and fishermen access to the beautiful streams and forests of the Alleghenies. This town, settled by Swiss immigrants after the Civil War, is one of scores which were almost completely isolated until new roads were constructed. Many of its people still speak their native language and preserve the arts and customs of their birthplace, even to the making of excellent Swiss cheese. Seneca Rocks, a striking geological formation famed in Indian legend, is one of the attractions which have brought thousands of tourists over the new roads into West Virginia's mountains. Another striking vista is Germany Valley, taken from the Indians by German settlers during the Revolutionary period. In cooperation with the State Conservation Commission, a 13-acre fish hatchery is being improved in Morgan County. 400,000 bass added to the state supply every year is an attractive lure for visiting anglers. In West Virginia, the Conservation Commission is restocking the state's forests through the breeding and feeding of deer and other native game. In improving vital traffic arteries for the benefit of both tourist and resident, an antiquated bridge at Charleston has been replaced by a new structure erected by WPA and the city. 
for the protection of motorists and school children, a dangerous blind crossing at the mouth of a railroad tunnel is being eliminated by the construction of an overpass. The works program is making every effort to reduce the annual toll of highway casualties by building new safety into every mile of road construction and improvement. During the destructive floods in the spring of 1936, WPA manpower was mobilized to save lives in the imperiled area, to salvage household goods and to protect property. After the floods abated, these same men safeguarded public health by cleaning up the debris left by raging water. As part of the flood restoration program, a bridge across the Potomac River near Petersburg is being rebuilt as are many other bridges, schools, streets and public buildings. This temporary structure was erected in 10 days to replace an important bridge washed out by the flood. To avert recurrence of this damage, the works program is building flood walls and dikes, reinforcing stream banks, deepening and changing channels, and in other ways developing a valuable flood control project. Eliminating the old method of caring for orphans, the aged, and the indigent in one institution, WPA has inaugurated two important projects. The first is the Mercer County Industrial Farm. Here, individual log houses are provided in which families live as separate groups until they may be returned to a self-sustaining basis. In this humanitarian project, household duties occupy the time of the women, while the men produce food on the farm to maintain the colony. Camp Fairchance in Boone County, we find the second project in which the works program has advanced good citizenship. In this camp, children who were formerly cared for in various institutions are now enabled to live wholesome lives in an atmosphere which builds health and happiness. At Camp Fairchance, WPA, in cooperation with the State Welfare Department, maintains 200 youngsters throughout the year. When their general health has been restored, they're placed with desirable families into which they're often adopted. In this fine camp, an abundance of good food is provided, and medical attention and general supervision are ensured by the large staff of trained employees, which WPA has removed from relief rolls. The camp school, which the children attend, is part of a broad educational program in which WPA has helped thousands of children and adults in West Virginia. In projects such as this, and in the great construction program throughout the state, we find assurance that we are building a strong foundation for a better West Virginia. <laughs>